all my successful lions out there. I'm back. Top of the morning. Rise and grind. Oh yeah, rise and grind. All my brothers and sisters, my lions out there. Don't let nobody stop you from being great. Never get sidetracked from being great. Only you can throw roadblocks to block your blessings, block yourself, block you from being great. You have to have that determination, that mindset, that roar to make sure you'll be great. Because like I said in other videos, nobody gonna love you like you love you. And that might mean selfishness at times. It doesn't mean you're selfish because you wanna be great and work on yourself. You know, because if you put in time, you put in 10% worrying about this person, 10% worrying about another person, 10% worrying about that person, 30% worrying about your significant other. What does that leave you with? What does that leave you with on it? You know, we, we simplify, man, you know, how most people, how most uh, mathematicians and all these people, man, they they deal with the pie, you know, the pie chart. You know, you got 10% over here, 10% over there, 20% over there, 30% over there. What does that leave you with? And I'm not trying to rattle your brain and do math early in the morning, man. It's 5 a.m., you know what I mean? But you guys, man, got to realize, you know, you are the head. Right? If you a leader, you a breadwinner, you a so-called alpha, I hate kind of using that word because it's so cliche nowadays. But if you the leader of your family and you have top goals to get your family out of poverty, be something that nobody in your family ever accomplished, whether it's getting a uh, high school diploma, college diploma, you know, working for a prestigious uh, company, becoming a millionaire, being the first male in your family not to go to jail, et cetera, et cetera. You know, being the first two first woman to get married in your family or first male to have a successful marriage in your family. You know, that comes with a level of responsibility and a level of wittiness and discipline to achieve that certain goal. So keep going. You know, I'm not saying don't care about other people. But you gotta put yourself first, man. You wanna be great. Me, I'm okay with losing people on this road of being great. So you gotta realize you might lose people on this road of being great. You know, and this road starts and ends with the Lord, with God. You know, it starts and ends with God, man. So you gotta have that faith as well. You gotta have that faith. It's a must, especially in these days, especially in this day and age. The last 30 days, what we saw, you know, I was telling somebody what we saw. We saw Trump, almost an assassination, we're seeing more brinks of war in the Middle East. 
You got migrants going crazy in New York. You got, you know, uh, over a hundred people getting shot in Chicago, Philadelphia going crazy. Then you got an earthquake in Japan just last week, 7.1. They're on the verge of a tsunami, warning. You know, all, all these different stuff. Stock market crashed last week. You know, and, and you know, I'm not, I never put stuff out there to be fear mongering and all this other crap, but it's about awareness. It's about situational and area awareness about the times we're living in. You know, the signs of the times the Bible talks about, the signs of the times, being aware, having discernment, you know? But that shouldn't stop you from being great, but it's about appreciating this time we do have to be great. You know, to that casket drop, man, be great. Be great. Be great, man. To all my successful lions out there, man, just a little morning motivation. Y'all be great out there. Stay up. Stay shining. Stay smiling. And shine on them, man. Shine on them. Oh, yeah. We're getting it in. 5 a.m. 5 a.m. Elliptical vibes. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Elliptical vibes. Let's go. Peace.